the in the interiority of the of the observer. Mm-hmm. I guess we see spiral shapes in lots of um, work, particularly by um, so-called primitive artists. You know, um, uh, in in, uh, in Australian indigenous art, you see that spiral shape many times, and not just in 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 the in Australian Indigenous, but other art forms contain that shape. It's a very basic shape. It has no beginning and end, really, does it? No, no, it's something, yes, that it could belong to all the culture, but I found out uh, lately, reading and investigating uh, things about Australia and Aboriginal things, and uh, I just uh, uh, read from my test, because I we prepared even a very beautiful, uh, interesting catalog that you can find in the lab at the, at the art school and the entering of the Plinson Gallery, in which I tried to explain all the different uh, idea, a kind of essays, a puzzle of sentences from a lot of different authors, in, in which I tried to support uh, um, the fact that to use a primitive language and uh, and why I want to use it. And the fact of the spirals uh, about the connection with the, uh, the Aboriginal Australian, uh, I found out in a, in a, in a book that uh, say like that the mythological world, like Aboriginal society, was segregated into two great moieties. On one side was fire and on the other the serpent. Through antagonistic, incompatible, they remain symbolically and emotionally linked in a dialectic of life and death. So that uh, is uh, something, w- when you don't use uh, your rationality, but you use your sensibility, then you even find out uh, uh, something that, uh, yes, like that. So very here I use spirals and... Uh, yeah, so, so like serpentine shapes climbing up a tree. Well. Um, you've called your work eidetic bush. Can you explain what eidetic vision is and how you've chosen to convey that concept in your installation at the Plimsoll Yeah, Gallery? it's very strange this fact because I'm Italian, I don't speak very well in English, but I found out a word that almost no one, an adjective that almost no, no one uh, knows that is the, because it's very few used, and is the word eidetic. And uh, always in the catalog, you can find uh, exactly the uh, the meaning of eidetic uh, and that uh, I wrote for this reason. Eidetic is that uh, capacity uh, to not uh, be able um, to distinguish the real by the unreal. The, the physical uh, act that was made in the burn bush and the virtual act that was made with the software, with the computer, with Aaron Orsley, that uh, is uh, a wonderful uh, immediate um, technician of the school and, and that is the sense you enter in the in the gallery and you have you are surrounded by this projection of the burn landscapes and uh, suddenly you can't see the difference between the uh, spirals created physically by the one created virtually and th- that is the, the, the sense in very few words of eidetic so an idea that um, you Sometimes if you look at bright sources of light and you close your eyes and you can still see the light even after you've closed your eyes. Absolutely. That, that is, yes. That's a kind of a, an eidetic experience. In the, in, the, in the meaning, in the physiological meaning. Yeah. In the psych- psychological meaning, I have more value connected with the visionary capacity and with the imagination and that we have lost. That is, uh, this work eidetic is... Uh, I try to say, okay, we have to reconnect, to be able to reconnect again with the nature as the primitive man made, and with this connection to give birth to some to a creative act. And that uh, is, um, the, yes. Okay. Now, you, as you enter this installation, which I did on Sunday, it's as though you're entering into a cave. Um, lighting levels are very low, and the viewer, you know, is, as you say, surrounded by projections of your images um, and some rather dramatic music by the um, avant-garde Italian composer Luigi Nono. What kind of responses were you hoping to achieve, um, Andrea, in the viewer with this kind of (coughs) sensory Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, the, the first, uh, uh, I hope to, to, to be able to move emotions, uh, first of all. 
And then, uh, um, if the observer has been involved emotionally by this contest, by that, this uh, situation, um, that uh, is, is, is really incredible because Plimpson Gallery, they, they give for the very first time the possibility to arrange this video installation inside a, a place that is really archaeological, industrial architecture and is very, very strong. So, so to have these uh, burned landscapes inside uh, this uh, area of the factory, of the very old factory of 1800, but very old for year and um, it was uh, is a really Im Im impressive because we have this contrast between the concre concrete and the architecture architecture of industrial architecture of 1800 and the, the vision of the burn bush in which um, appear and disappear um, following the, the music of Luigi Nono and the, the spirits the music of Luigi Nono we where you is used first of all because it's a very dramatic and that is a, a dramatic work aesthetically is dramatic but uh, even because there are many many other concepts uh, one of the on one of the first is that the text called um, um, sung by the chorus is a text that took from uh, the causa principio e uno of Giordano e Bruno in which Giordano Bruno the priest that in middle, in middle age in Italy was born by the church because he tried to see that men could have an esoteric uh, contact with nature and that is what uh, I want to say I, I hope don't be burned by, by anyone <laughs> yes well um, I guess um, knowing that it's by Giordano Bruno, who was, as you say, burnt at the stake, is um, a really telling piece of information, which I, I've only just realised. Um, okay, I certainly found it to be, you know, a, a kind of a sensory, you know, stimulating and, and overwhelming experience. It really is um, a most interesting installation at the Plimsoll Gallery. It's open until April the 8th. It's part of 10 Days on the Island. And just briefly, I should also mention that um, examples of Venetian art glass can be seen at the Despard Gallery at Castre Esplanade. And some of Andrea's own glass sculptures have been installed in the Lily Pond at the Royal Botanic Gardens. Um, the installation Eidetic Bush, though, is at the Plimsoll Gallery until the 6th of April. I'm made a mistake with the date. It's the 6th, not the 8th. Andrea, it's been wonderful to talk to you. I'm no, still... it's already finished. No? I was so enjoying now. <laughs> <laughs> I just began to speak. Okay. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. When I when we can get the chance to do a two-hour documentary, I'll ring you. <laughs> All right. It is, uh, it's 14 minutes away from three. This is preview. And uh, still to come, Information about um, oh more ten days on the island festivals, including some special guests from Delarain from uh, Mixed Media Productions. That's coming up soon.